Again. We'll see some more views of the church in a minute. I'm gonna, there's an electric fence there. I don't feel like climbing over it today. So I'm gonna go through the gap there and go through the little copse and join up. I've just gotta hope there's no cows in um, the field I am going in. Now I can see cows in another field over there. I can see them through the gaps. In fact, they're even at the gate. If I, if I focus on the cows are still out in another route I sometimes take. If, you go, if I zoom into that gate, look. There are cows in both those fields. I normally get over the stile there. Now what happens if there's cows in another field I might go in? I have to go round the lane. I have to go round the lane. Anyway, there's the church again, St Lawrence. Closed for us at the moment. Just a short video. Um, this is being done for posterity. Anyway, like I was saying, I've got this mobile phone now. Uh, it's for time mainly and uh, if I needed 999 it's, it's basically for emergencies but it has got a couple of apps on but it is actually costing me £120 a year it, well, my other mobile used to cost me between 10 and £20 a year so it's a big difference plus I've got BT which I'm paying about £64 a month for, just to have the internet. So basically it's costing me about £74 a month just to be connected and have a phone. I've got a landline, but apparently landlines are going to be phased out quite soon, apparently. Um, <sighs> but I, what I really should have done, really, is got my SIM card um, not O2. It's too late now. I um, don't really know how I can swap it over, you know, without having to do lots of coding. You know, you can't just do stuff anymore. You've got to have the, all the codes. That looks like cow pack there. They do start taking the cows in usually this time. long distance. Now I'm going to be heading past the cavern, the Swallet, and I shall also be hoping there's no cows in the field I've got to go in, which is down there. Here, lead me to the swallet. Right, over and out for a minute. And we'll see some more views of the church in a minute. I'm gonna, there's an electric fence there. I don't feel like climbing over it today. So I'm gonna go through the gap there and go through the little copse and join up. I've just gotta hope there's no cows in um, the field I am going in. Now I can see cows in another field over there. I can see them through the gaps. In fact, they're even at the gate. If I, if I focus on the cows are still out in another route I sometimes take. If, you go, if I zoom into that gate, look. There are cows in both those fields. I normally get over the stile there. Now what happens if there's cows in another field I might go in? I have to go round the lane. I have to go round the lane. Anyway, there's the church again, St Lawrence. Closed for us at the moment. 
just a short video um, this is being done for posterity anyway like I was saying I've got this mobile phone now yeah, it's for time mainly and uh, if I needed 999 it's, it's basically for emergencies but it has got a couple of apps on but it is actually costing me £120 a year my other mobile used to cost me between 10 and 20 pounds a year. So it's a big difference. Plus I've got BT, which I'm paying about 64 pounds a month for just to have the internet. So basically it's costing me about 74 pounds a month just to be connected and have a phone. I've got a landline, but apparently landlines are going to be phased out quite soon, apparently. Um, but I, what I really should have done, really, is got my SIM card with ET. Um, not O2. It's too late now. I um, don't really know how I can swap it over you know, without having to do lots of coding. You know, you can't just do stuff anymore, you've got to have the, all the codes. That looks like cow pack there. They do start taking the cows in usually this time of year, by the way. Yeah, this is a little copse that sticks out for quite a long distance. Now I'm going to be heading past the cavern, the Swallet, and I shall also be hoping there's no cows in the field I've got to go in, which is down there. Leave me to the swallet. Right, over and out for a minute. Right back on. I'll join all these small videos up. I know it's a bit jumpy. I've just walked through the cops. Very pretty. Take some photos. Just one or two. Uh, the 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 red the weather looks so like dodgy. Now I've got to go up through fields over there, right? I've got to go up through there. I can't see any cows so far which is good now down here this little bunch of shrubs and trees is uh, where the swallet is as you can see cows have been in here they've been recently taken out very recent so basically that is good i mean they might be around the corner they could be lying down there's an old style there that no one uses anymore just there and if you go this way, you go into the village, which was the alternative route that I was saying about. This is the entrance to a cavern, Swildon's Cavern, and um, cavers go down, potholders go. It links up with the main Wookiee and Cheddar system. I'm not going down there, but that is the entrance. Somebody never came back out of there once, a boy, and he's got a tree named after him. A young man, I should say. Um, yeah, I'm not going down. It's a bit slippery. But that is, and it's on other videos. If you ever want to find anything, you've got to look for one of my other walks. I don't know what it would come under. It could be pr under pretty, a pretty circular or something like that. Or I often include this. <clears throat> and I've taken photos, done many videos. Today I wasn't really going to do anything. That's the entrance to the cavern. And if you look at it, you think, God, how could anyone squeeze in that? It really is, looks a tight squeeze to me. And there's water running all around you. 
there's the tree for the boy, the man, the young man, who was a potholder. Um, and I think it says something like, I hope you're enjoying yourself. It's fallen down a bit now. But once again, it's on other videos. It's just a little memorial to him. And yeah, look, Kopak. And he looks a couple days old, so they've only recently been taken out once again. Now I'm following quite a well trod path here because this is, takes me across the stream into the fields there, which I have to get through, get up onto a lane. I just gotta hope, I mean the cows might be in another field and not close to where I'm going. I can't see any at the moment. <laughs> can't see any at the moment. Anyway, I was to say the weather is very, very touch and go. <clears throat> but there is forecast lots of rain over the next week. I don't think there's another nice day till, till next Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. Um, so I had to come out in this. And I did need a, a, a sort of a half decent walk really rather than just go up in the wood or there's the mouth of a stream coming here coming down off the hills um, I don't really want to get my feet muddy I haven't started wearing my walking boots yet but you've just got to be careful where you tread to get over Careful, because already my feet are sinking. Um, looks like somebody's made a taken a risk here, haven't they? That's it, we did it. Not too bad. I'm expecting them to get a bit wet. So here we are, there's another some steps leading down up. Well, you could cool your feet if you wanted to. Might have healing powers. And this is the way through. Now, it's got an electric fence as well. It's got an electric fence. So does that mean that but somebody's put a bit of... See, when I've got my... Um, stick. I can usually hold things down with that. Uh, right, let's get over the barbed wire bit first. That's an electric fence. I don't know if it's all working. Um, I've got no idea. But normally I have a stick. And uh, it's touch and go, isn't it? <laughs> Um, where's it going? Is it going up that way? Up that way. It might pay. I don't know if I could balance enough to get over that bit. I think what I'm going to have to do is take my coat off and crawl under here. So, hold on a minute.